all right folks here we are this is the f1 lake right here and i'm right here with rocky we just had pulled up here i'm gonna rig this up now this is a 1 16th of an ounce bullet weight right here i'm gonna slip it on and this is a it looks like a two alt straight shank gamma got gamma katsu hook now i'm just gonna tie a trilene knot which is a strong strong knot it's just as strong as a palomar i believe and it's a dark overcast day so i'm gonna start off with a black lizard probably about five wraps right here is good enough stick it through wet it and cinch it up that keeps it from burning burning the line now that's a strong strong knot right there i'm gonna leave about a quarter of an inch of tag line and that's it we'll get us a black lizard and, and rig it up now i'm gonna modify well here's the lizards right here a black zoom lizard black is a one of the best colors i know to throw on overcast days and it's a great big fish bait color what i'm trying to say great color for big bass let's go ahead and modify it i'm going to shorten this bait up the water temperature is probably about 63 degrees it's pretty hadn't had a chance to really warm up but what i'm going to do is cut the head off okay i'm going to cut this off and this off when it comes to fishing a lizard over the years i have figured out this to be a fact if i want to catch get twice the amount of bites what i'll do and it has a lot better action it appeals to the bass a lot more in my opinion and i found it to be a fact i mean i just believe it's a fact but i will trim this leg off this leg off cut the head off and then rig it texas rig it and when i'm fishing a lizard in shallow water i use as least bit of weight as i possibly can and that's going to be a 1 16th of an ounce bullet weight a size 2 alt ewg hook i'll texas rig it run the hook plumb through and then text pose it which means running the hook all the way through and then skin hooking the point which i've shown before this is an excellent bait right here to get twice the amount of strikes and believe it or not even though it's a small profile or it is now after trimming it to catch big bass big bass love it in the springtime give it a try this is much more appealing to bass in my opinion i catch a lot more fish with this presentation right here i'm gonna go about what is that three eighths of an inch cover the knot up run the hook plumb through like that and then skin hook it now we're ready now i'm gonna have to make sure i got the drag set low so i'm gonna check it again i gotta make sure that it's loose enough to where we don't pop a fish off and that's it we're just going to have to take our time now here's rocky rocky yes sir. these fish are stronger yeah they're they're crossed between if i understand it right now that richard they're crossed between a uh, northern bass and a florida bass mm -hmm. and uh anyway yeah there's some main fish in here they do a lot of pulling i call them f-150s because they pull like a forward truck <laughs> okay <laughs> no I'm just all joking aside no these fish are and there's some big ones in there this yeah. is well managed to the lake yeah okay so and, i'm gonna uh, have to watch it right here this is a eight pound eight pound braid but i got a double uni knot right here folks uh i believe we can do it i've landed some big fish on light line but we'll see how mean these fish are you can do it we can do it now what are you going to start off with you know i'm kind of debating i may throw a uh 
I might throw a spinner bait. Well, I tell you what, I got another pack of black lizards. Oh, if they work, right. put them in your pocket and I'll get this other pack. Okay. All right. It's a dark overcast day. They should eat them up. Right. They should. Okay. Make sure this drag is set. Okay, that's good. Let's pitch it out there. Matter of fact, I'm going to take this off, this brake off, so I'm back real. I'm just going to work it slow. I'm going to hop it. Little hops. Little bitty hops. Let's see. Yeah, that water's about four feet deep. There's a fish. Got him. My, my, my. Got him. <laughs> that was the second pitch. Good fish, too. See, I'm going to back reel, count this light line. You're a lot better off than trying to rely on the drag if you're dealing with a big fish. This ain't but about a three pounder, but he's beautiful, beautiful bass. He ain't real big, Rocky, but he's a nice fish. He's pulling, ain't he? Woo, they are strong, ain't they? Look at Rocky, folks. That didn't take long. Now he's a master bass master. No, no. Look at his lizards he's got right there. <laughs> All right, there's a that's a F1, folks. F1 right Is that the first one you ever caught? That's the first one I ever caught. But I've heard a lot. Boy, they're mean, ain't they? Yeah, they mean. What will he weigh? You're yeah. you're a taxidermist, you know. Mm, two and a half, three. Okay. Look at a real big one. I got my scales here. We'll weigh them. Boy, it didn't take long. Was that no. the first cast? A uh, second pitch. What? I just pitched it out there. Yeah. See that little piece of grass out there? Uh -huh. Probably in about three feet of water. By the time it hit, I felt him go boom. Wow. He just sat down on Good it. Good deal, man. But there we go. You know what they're going to bite today? They're going to bite today. Yeah. Them black zoom lizards, though, this time of year, no matter where you fish them, though. I got a lot of confidence in them. Let's let him go. Nice fish. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Woo, dog gone. You see that bob wire? I just want to grab it. And grab it right here, folks, and just, mm, but I'm not going to do it. Let's catch another. All right, folks. Now, the way I've modified this bait right here, let's, let's look at it in the water right here. If y'all can see that. See how that looks. That's an enticing bait. Look at all that. Oh, my, my, my. There's fish. Oh, my. This is a big one, folks. This is a big one right here. This is a good fish right here. Uh-oh. I got one of them big ones. Okay. <laughs> this is a big one. Oh, my, my. Y'all see that? Oh, my. The F1. Here he comes. He's fixing to come up. That's a big son of a gun right there. <laughs> Ain't it? <laughs> oh my God! Oh me! And this is on eight pound test line, six pound test fluorocarbon. Well, I'm just gonna have to wear him out. This is a big fish right here. My, 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 my! Oh, I can't tell y'all how this fish is pulling. Light line and a spinning reel back railing is a lot safer folks you can land a big fish by back railing and what i do is I just put my finger right there like that 
and when he takes off which he'll do right here in a minute I'll show you it's a lot better than a drag by back reeling like that it's an old technique this fish just don't want to quit that's a good fish for light line <laughs> he won't quit oh, oh <laughs> that's a big one ain't it god <laughs> what are you yeah, rocky would you please oh, i'll get yours when you oh my goodness what a mess Oh my my my! <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. Look at that. Black lizard. That's what that'll do for you. That. Yep. Look at there, folks. What a fish! That modification right there works. And I learned that in Florida, by okay. the way. We'll weigh this fish real quick. Get yeah. Go on. ahead and weigh him. Golly. What do you think? Eight. At least eight. I don't know. I might be wrong. Or better. <laughs> I know I'm going to retie all my knots. Oh. Nine something. No. Seven. It's right at eight. Right at eight pounds. 770. That's still a big fish. On white line like big. that, that's a good catch. That fish looks bigger than that, but whatever i'll take it and that's almost an eight pounder yep golly what a fish you go, brother. go ahead and let him go Can we turn it loose for you yeah we'll film that that's quite a catch on white line i'm proud of it golly that fish looks bigger than that don't it yep. but you know anytime you're catching an eight pound fish and better that's a good bass She's tired. She's give out. That light line will give them out. Well, I guess, see, Richard, we've been here, what, uh, about 10 minutes? 10 minutes, and I've caught four. That's, they're biting. It's overcast. Right? They're biting. But I'm going to retie my knots, folks. I'll show you why. You know, this is eight-pound braid. Uh, here's my weight link, link right here. That's a double uni knot very very strong knot like y'all y'all like y'all seen but i'm gonna retie that and also this trilene knot then get another lizard y'all can see he wrecked that lizard but i'm gonna take time always take time and retie your knots when you're fishing <laughs> for big fish all right rocky it's your time i got the film you catching a big fish and Rocky's a big fish man. There's no telling how many big fish he's caught. What we're gonna do, Rocky and I, we're gonna just walk around this whole big lake because these fish is biting. There's a front coming in. These are perfect conditions right now to catch big fish. Perfect conditions. Whoa. Here we go, here we go. Oh, get him, get him, Rocky. Watch this right here, folks. Oh my, 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 my. Now there, that's what I'm talking about right there. Wait. He pecked, he pecked on it. Well, I'm just waiting for the little one. No. Big no. <laughs> hey, these little boogers got to eat too. I know. Oh, man. Huh? He hit it like a big one though, didn't he? He thumped on it. <laughs> Rocky's fixing to catch a big one right here. Well, what I'll do is get on the other side. I'm going to suggest. And that way we can. One of us is going to catch a big one right here, folks. Let's just make a parallel cast like that right there. There he is. Go. go. Yep. Good? Yep, yeah, good one. Good fish right here. Oh my gosh, what a boy. Four or five pound. He's four or five pound, but hey. I got to hold him. I got to keep him out of that dock <laughs> with this light line. There we go. My good. You know, they could be several fish right there, couldn't they? I need to be back railing. You know what, Rocky? You're right. These F1s are stronger 
than either one, the northern strain largemouth or the Florida black bass. Yeah, they're, they're fighting machines, both. I've caught them both. There's something about them. Yep. This fish ain't but about four and a half or five pounds, but you're talking about mean. Folks, this fish is mean. Oh, look at him out there. Golly, bum. Man, old oh man. He ain't as big as that first one, but he thinks he is. This is a good fish, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> he's pulling, ain't he? Yeah, he's pulling. My, my, my. You want me to lift it for you? Yes, sir. Oh, look at that. That's a good, good fish. Right? That's a good one. Solid five-pounder. Oh, my goodness. We'll weigh that one. Woo-wee. He's going to be bigger than five. That's a good chunk. He's a good one. He ain't as big as that other one. Well. But now, he's heavy. He's a heavy, he's got a lot of He's heavy. got more weight than that other one does. Look at there, folks. Look yonder. They. Let me see row these scales. And the owner of the lake here, he's curious to see what these fish weigh. And that's another reason we weigh them, too. Yeah. He keeps up with that, yeah, don't he? he? <laughs> Five, almost five fifty. Five and a half. Five and a half pound. That's a good fish. Yeah. I'm not gonna grab. You know, light line. Absolutely. It's a challenge to land them like that. Yep. Look at there, folks. The best thing to do. Let's let him go. We'll be able to watch this one swim off. Tell this little shallow water right here. All right. That's a good <laughs> solid fish right there. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't waste no time. You know. They're just a powerful fish. I had a lot of stamina. Yes, sir. Woo! See that shaking going on right here? Did you see that? Right there. There he is, too. I got you. I seen that vegetation shaking. That's an old Florida trick. <laughs> Uh, you can't get by with that. Yep. What happens right there, let's let the fish go. That could have been our big one. You never know, folks, but watch the grass. When you see it shake like that, there's a fish up under it. And it could be a little bitty one like that, or it could be a 10-pounder. One never knows. But that has a lot to do with fishing as being alert. Drowned everything out. Just think about, I mean, you're the predator. Okay. The folks, if you'll look now, if you'll look at Rocky's expression, he's very focused and he's in tune with nature at this time. There you go. Man. There he is, right there. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Look here, folks, let's get over here. It don't matter. It's a good one. Well, that's a three and a half pounder or better. Look at that. Look at there. Yep. Oh, boy. He's up under there, too. Boy. They're strong. Yeah, I done made two or three throws up under there. And you just kind of got to aggravate them a little bit. You know? That old fish tried one I caught a while ago. It tried its best. To, I had to really finesse him to keep him out from under that dock. It's a good fish. That's a good fish anywhere. Look at it, right back up under there. He's going to go tell the rest of them. I hope not, because you know as well as I do, there's several fish around this dock as we speak. I'll tell you something else, Richard. We ain't even got to the good dock up yonder yet. Oh, my goodness. So, folks, stay tuned. Stay tuned. We might catch a fish right there. What? Right beside them, that dock. You get one side, I'll get the other. Parallel cast it. If there was any under it, which you know there was, they're probably on the outside edge right there now. And we might catch a big one. And it's this late like this. I never know. There's fish. There's a big one. Oh. Yeah. Let's 
catfish. Is it? Yes. <laughs> oh, there's catfish around this. This. <laughs> well. Oh, I thought that was another big bass, folks. It's right here at dark. Uh, it's a good catfish. Oh, yes. big fish. oh my goodness! Big, big Wait a minute. Is that a bass? Yes, it's a bass. Oh my goodness! What a bass! Look here, folks. Right here. Right here. It's the last minute. Of the See night. that? Good fish. Okay, there's a bass, and look right here. Well, if I can get him out. Uh, Boy, come out Channel cat. Man, he got it there. Bass right here. <laughs> That's a good song. Wait a minute, let me land my channel cat and we'll compare them. <laughs> oh my. What about that? <laughs> I know like them lizards, don't they? <laughs> them channel cat do, don't they? Yeah. Oh, I gotta get that out of his mouth. He's clamped it tight. Uh. Yeah. Goodness, he shut down. He right? shut down on it. You might have to get a pair of water pliers or something. Let's see. I about had it out then. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go, folks. We're gonna let them go at the same yep. time right here. <laughs> Ain't that something? <laughs> we hooked, I hooked up first. And then shortly after that, Rocky hooked up. <laughs> there we go. Y'all see that? They. Oh. Good deal, Richard. That's how it's done, ain't it? That's how it's done. Woo. Yeah. Woo, Lord. I am give out. Me too, I'm tired. Well, folks, we're going to call it a day because it's about over with. We got here. Much. We just fished, what, a couple hours mm -hmm. or so? Six inch black lizard. Old school. Well, a lot of bass fishermen calls it old school, but it's really not. It's basic bass fishing. That's all it is. Old school, well, I don't believe in that, really. Had a ball out here with Rocky. I'm not kidding. We caught some big fish and, well, lost a great big one but that's part of it can't get them all hey i found y'all see that <laughs> whoa <laughs> and remember go fishing when you can because it's good fish.